where do people get the drugs? Like, say, a young fellow wants to start mm -hmm. dealing. Uh, where do the drugs come from? Well, the sort of the older dealers usually would start with them, depending again on, on where you're coming from. Some of the kids will be brought into the gangs when they're about 10, mm -hmm. and they're used as couriers because they can hold the drugs and they won't be jailed, mm -hmm. you know? So they'll, they'll transport the money, the drugs, so they kind of get into it that way. The older guys see the vulnerable kids, the ones that don't have anybody coming out. Right looking for them, mm. wondering where they are. Mm. You know, others will go in by choice. They see two options in life. One of them is to be a drug user, or the other is to be a drug dealer with the flash car and the flash runners. And that is all they see in life. They don't see any more options than that. And I think that's really where we all come in. And that's where society comes in and where, you know, we have to stop being bored listening to the community workers and the people out there who are, you know, trying to help them and trying to educate them. And we have to stop sighing when we, you know, and, and blaming them just totally. If a child has no options, that's the fault of the society they're in. It's not their fault. I think it's all our faults. Yeah. I really think we all have to, we all have to sort, sort of really face that a bit and that we can't just blame them and, you know, and drug dealers and we can't just call people scumbags and use language like that about yeah. them. We have to, I think we really have to try and understand it and what's going on and what it, wh why do they end up there, you know?